Kabir, hmm? did you manage to delete what you wanted to delete? I think so. Okay, if you think so, what did you do? What is the pro Okay, let me just ask you, what's your process of deletion? Right click on a file, okay. press delete. Once it's inside the recycle bin, yeah. uh, you can empty the recycle bin or you can delete it from the recycle bin. That's not how it's deleted. Then how is it deleted? So, I mean, it, it will be deleted, but it'll still be on your laptop. I've heard that before. So, whatever you heard is actually true. So? So? So, we are going to tell you how to delete everything from your laptop or your computers. Permanently. Yes. And ever. And ever. I Don't do this coming. again. I saw that Don't coming. do this again. If you're asking why anybody would want to permanently delete stuff off their laptop, we can give you more than one reason. Yeah, three to be precise. First one. First one is that you're selling your laptop to someone and you don't want them to find out the data which is there on your laptop. Correct. The second one is if you're done with your laptop, it can't be resold, you want to throw it out, recycle, it'll be a good idea to delete, wipe, delete everything off it and then And the third it. reason is that you have something really important and you yeah. don't want the world to like find out. Like very secret CIA. Yeah, like James you know, Bond. whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Or whatever I don't think happens we're talking in about the same thing. Manali but you get the point. Manali. You get the point that if there's something that you don't want anybody else hands on, it so, would be a good idea to permanently delete it. Tell up the kata do karte. Now there are multiple ways of deleting data off your laptop. We are gonna talk about three of those ways. Okay, the first one is called selective wipe or selective deletion. It's deleting a specific file off your laptop. So it can be a Word document, it can be a picture, it can be an audio file, anything. The software we're gonna use for selective wipe or selective deletion is called Eraser. Now I have the perfect analogy of what it does. When you write with pencil on paper and erase it, there is a certain imprint that's left, which is exactly what happens when you delete a file off your laptop. The file is deleted, but it's still there. Now, imagine this. If you rewrite on the paper, erase again, rewrite again and erase again, the imprint that will be there will be scrambled and nobody will be able to make out what you were writing in the first place. Now, this is something what eraser does to the file in the computer. It rewrites and rewrites till it gets scrambled and nobody can understand the data. The computer's trash bin only deletes a file from the desktop. And even if you empty the trash bin, it only deletes the virtual pathway to it. The file is actually saved in your hard drive, but now it's just more difficult to access. If you want to delete a particular file forever, eraser is the tool you want to use. All the deletion can be done while laptop is up and running. Step 1. Download and install Eraser on your laptop. Step 2. Once installed, select New Task. Here you can choose to delete manually. Step 3. Choose Delete by Folder, queue the task and run. Once the file is overwritten, you can junk it with the knowledge that it's now nearly impossible to read. You can also set Eraser to clean out your trash bin and schedule automatic deletions if you're producing a lot of information you need to delete. Soumya told you how to delete certain files from your computer and she's not taking money for it. And I'm not going to take money for telling you how to delete everything from your computer, even the operating system. All you need to do is get this open source software it's called Boot and New. Download it, follow the instructions and that's it. And yes, you might need a DVD. I might just charge you. If you're selling your laptop, it's a good idea to wipe it clean. The boot and nuke method is the perfect way of going about it as it allows reuse of the hard drive. Direct's boot and nuke is an open source boot disk utility that operates from inside the computer's RAM, allowing it to scrub the disk thoroughly. Here's what you have to do. Step 1. Download Direct's boot and nuke online. There are different versions for PC and Mac. Check while downloading. Step 2. Burn boot and nuke to a CD or DVD. DBAN is an ISO file, so you will need to use burning software that can burn ISO files. The good news is, most OS these days come with an inbuilt software that can burn ISO files. Step 3. Boot and delete from the CD. Leave the CD in while you restart the computer for your erasing. 
Begin by selecting the disk you want to delete data from. Make sure it's the right one because you can't recover the data after it has been destroyed. You can choose how many times you want it to be overwritten and deleted. The default 3-pass override is more than enough. Kabir, yeah. wake up. I'm trying. Last and final method of deletion. Last and the final method is to actually physically destroy that data. Destroy yes. the laptop if yes. you're not giving it to your friends, cousin or Rakhi Savant or whomsoever. Right? So just destroy it. Yeah. And there With is... a hammer. Achha, bol liya. Kira... Ab, main bolu. Bol. Haan. So there is a method to destroying. You can't just pick up a hammer and start hitting it. Okay? That is not what how it's going to destroy. You have to follow these steps or this method of data destruction. It's very cathartic. Hammer would have been so much fun. Yeah, but it's very cathartic. I like this way of destruction. Deletion. You can burn it, melt it, shred it, microwave it. Maybe not microwave it. Hard drives can be destroyed physically in many, many ways once they are rendered useless. One of the best ways to destroy is though by simply smashing it into pieces so tiny that it is barely recognizable. And there is a method to this madness. Step 1. Take out the hard drive you want to destroy from its casing. This can be done with the help of a screwdriver. Make sure you look for hidden screws properly. Step 2. Once the hard disk is wide open, remove the magnets. That means removing the magnetic arm. Be super careful as this arm is very strong. Step 3. This is where the destruction begins. The platters aka the silver disc is what you need to destroy. Scratch the surface of the platters. Now start smashing it with a hammer. Do the hammering on a hard surface. Be sure to wear safety glasses. Listen, cycle. But listen, it's not from the set. Ours is yellow, this one's white. As you can see, there are some adults with brains of a five-year-old. And yes, now that you know how to delete that data, go ahead and delete it. Or else, don't delete it. It's up to you. Can yeah, you go but back? then I'm be sleepy. prepared to face the consequences if it ever gets discovered by husbands, wives, siblings, friends. Adults with brains of five years old. It's so much fun! <laughs>